expert in voice stress analysis. Why don't you take these tapes and go see him? It's a real simple thing. Um, it's kind of like a polygraph. If the response kind of goes up and then comes straight back down, that's going to be indicative of a truthful answer. What we're going to be looking for, though, are the ones that are not like that, where it goes up to the logical side of our brain, kind of takes a detour over to the creative side of our brain, then comes back down. Cool. So, is your name Michelle? Yes. And there's our response. If you're not trying to lie to me, boom, the answer comes right back down. Do you like my slick back hair? I love it. Is she telling the truth? No. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a... Give me a walk. I love it. Give me some shampoo. Okay, how about I like it? Okay, what can you tell us about Stewart's interview? This number 12 looks to me like what deception is. is. And that is the detective asking him if he killed Rebecca. Right. If this were the only question that I had to work with, I would tell the detective this guy is being deceptive. OK, but you're saying if this was the only question that we had, but it's not. We have other ones. So. That's right. This guy is really getting to him, and he's causing him some stress. But then overall, Stewart's interview doesn't develop into definitive deception. OK, what about Paul's interview? Yes, OK, here's Paul's interview. Never. And it just jumps off the page. Wow. That's a bold ass lie. So you can see right there that he's not being truthful. No doubt in your mind he's been, that he's lying about that. He's been in that he, apartment. He, he's been in that apartment. This is interesting. So Paul's a liar. Still don't make him a murderer. If this were my investigation, I'd want to check out that alibi. <laughs> 